Thanks for tuning in, I'm Brock Page, and if you want to save yourself some time, check out my picks for this video in the description section below. Once again, I'm not an expert, just a sports fan. Let's get into some picks. Houston at Miami. I like Miami plus 9.5 on the spread at home, and I like the under 221. I'm taking Houston winning this one outright, laying 335 for some money line cash. Here's why. Miami's covered one out of their last two with the one cover coming over Golden State and Oakland. Their games also have gone under the line in two of their last three. Meanwhile, on the other side, Houston's only covered one of their last four. Once again, I like Miami plus nine and a half on the spread, the under 221, and Houston winning outright, laying 335 for some money line cash. Next game, Toronto at Brooklyn. I like Toronto minus 11 on the spread, and I like the over 226. Toronto's laying 800 on the money line. Here's why I like it. Toronto's covered in their last three straight and won those games outright. On the other side, Brooklyn's right in the heart of a 10-game skid where they covered just twice in those 10 losses. In addition, both teams have collectively averaged well over 226 total combined points in their last four games, respectively. It's for these reasons I like Toronto, minus 11 on the spread, the over 226, and Toronto winning outright, laying 800 for some money line cash. Next game, Dallas at Chicago. I like the Chicago Bulls minus five at home, and I like the over 195 and a half. Chicago's laying 250 on the money line. Here's why I like it. Chicago's covered in six of their last eight games and have won five of those outright. On the other side, Dallas covers just 37% of their games facing teams playing around 500 ball. Both teams have collectively averaged well over 195 total, 195 and a half total points in their last four games, respectively. It's for these reasons I like Chicago minus five, the over 195 and a half, and Chicago outright. Next game, Minnesota at San Antonio. I like the San Antonio Spurs minus 10 on the spread and the under 208. San Antonio's laying 7, uh, 750 on the money line. Here's why I like it. San Antonio is covering a big 74% against teams allowing more than 102 a game. Meanwhile, Minnesota's covered just 6 of 19 on the road and played in games going under the line in four of their last five. It's for these reasons I like San Antonio minus 10, the under 208, and San Antonio outright laying 750 for some money line cash. Next and final game, Denver at the LA Lakers. I like Denver plus two on the road and the under 229. I like Denver winning this one outright for some money line cash as well. Here's why I'm liking this game. Denver's covered 60% of their games at the current spread, while LA's failed to cover in each of their last four games. Speaking of LA, four of their last five games have gone under the total points. Once again, I like the Denver Nuggets plus two on the spread, the under 229, and Denver winning this one outright for some money line cash. Well, folks, that's going to do it for me. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not an expert, nor have I implored you to take any of my picks. For Brock Page Predictions and Sports Picks, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.